Hello and welcome. We're going to be moving forward with our discussion of the Tao Te Ching. Today we're going to be talking about verse 8. This should be a good one, coming up. Hello and welcome to ResidentMind.org where we bring tools to help people through their spiritual awakening process. Now if you like videos like this, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as well as that notification bell. It'd mean a lot to me and you won't miss out on what's coming up next. So today we're going to be talking about verse 8 of the Tao Te Ching. Now verse 8, I really enjoy its message. It's about allowing yourself to flow where life takes you. And I'm going to read verse 8 to you now and then we'll have a small discussion afterwards about what it means, maybe how it applies to your life. So here we go, verse 8 of the Tao Te Ching. The supreme good is like water, which nourishes all things without trying. It flows to low places, loathed by all. Therefore, it is like the way. In dwelling, be close to the land. In meditation, go deep in the heart. In dealing with others, be gentle and kind. In speech, be true. In ruling, be just. In daily life, be competent. In action, be aware of the time and the season. One who lives in accordance with nature does not go against the way of things. He moves in harmony with the present moment, always knowing the truth of just what to do. So verse 8 starts off comparing the Tao to water. Now it talks about the supreme good and the way. Now that's the Tao. And water, which is so soft yet powerful. You know, it's so soft that it can slip through your fingers but yet it can split stone and move mountains. Water, which gives life to all living things, just as the Tao flows through all living things. So it's a really good comparison comparing the Tao to water. So at the beginning of verse 8, it's kind of interesting. It talks about how uh, the Tao and water flow down into low places that are just loathed by all. So what does that mean? Well, water never flows up, right? It always follows the natural flow of things. It's always going down, down into those low places. And the Tao can do that as well in our own lives. So how does that apply? Well, if you look at today's society, so many people are preoccupied with, you know, pretending there's something they're not, elevating themselves into something that they're not, just striving and grinding all the time, and just ignoring those things about themselves that maybe they don't want to admit, maybe something they're not very proud of, just pushing that aside, pretending to be something that they're not. Now the Tao can flow down into those low places that you just want to ignore, and by shining that light on them, you can begin to heal and expand as a person, and ultimately um, growing and expanding as a society. So the rest of verse 8 is pretty self-explanatory. It urges us to live a life in alignment with nature and the Tao, to live from the heart, to be kind and gentle, to be honest and fair. And perhaps if we could allow ourselves to be more like water, we could allow ourselves to flow where life takes us, even if that means going in those places within ourselves that we don't want to admit that are there, those places that we just want to push aside. Let the Tao flow into those low places Shine the light on those things that maybe you need to work on within yourself so that you can heal and expand as a person. We can learn so much about ourselves as well as others just by following that natural flow of life. So I urge you to be more like water, to be soft and gentle, yet extremely powerful. So if you'd like to read verse 8 for yourself, it's in the description area down below. And if you like these type of videos, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as well as that notification bell. It really mean a lot to me, and you won't miss out on what's coming up next. So until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.